Welcome to episode nine of Randy's Office. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna cover one of my favorite time-saving features, which, uh, which is signatures in Outlook. So most of you have used signatures before, so it's nothing new, but uh, you can save a lot of time using them. So let's get started. Most of us have used signatures before to put in our name and company name and address and email and phone numbers and all of that stuff. Very common use. And you can set that to be the default setting for new emails. You could have a different one or the same one for replies and forwards. But uh, signatures can be used for so much more than that. So it's not just limited to your name information. I think signatures are probably one of the most underused features in Outlook. So the way I use them, mostly, way more than I use them for my name, is for common responses. So when I get a common question for the second or third or fourth time from students or colleagues or professors I work with around the country, what I'll do is I'll just go back to my sent items, find my response, paste it into an email and kind of customize it and, and you know get it all nice and clean, proofread, all that stuff, and then make a signature out of it. So for example, I can, um, like a student asks, hey, how do I download the Microsoft 365 desktop apps on my computer? Well, I have a signature all ready to go. So here's installing the apps. I just dump that in. And what I normally do is I just put hi name there. So I backspace up a couple times. So it's at the top and put in a name. And so hi Dean. So it looks like this nice personalized message that I wrote to them with screenshots and hyperlinks and all of that stuff. And it, it, it is, it was personalized at one point, but now I'm just reusing it and it saves me a lot of time. So um, you can only have one signature per email, which is a limitation, which is weird because it's just text and you know graphics and stuff in there. But Mike, if you put in one signature, Microsoft will erase the other one, you know, if you put it on top of it. And uh, um, so you have to think through that. So I always put my closing information at the bottom here, but think through that. But if you look here, I have a ton of signatures and I use them all the time. Beginning of the semester when students are wanting to add a class, all that, it's it's all there ready to go. So the way to create a new signature is what I'll normally do. And you, you can do it from the uh, file and go to options and signatures in that way. or um, But from a new email or a reply and forward, I typically just click the signatures button, scroll down to the bottom and click on signatures with the dot, dot, dot. That's going to open up a dialog box, signatures dialog box. So in the signatures dialog box, click new, type a name for the signature. I just had a student ask about uh, where do they find emails, class emails or announcements? And so I typed up a message and I just copied it from the sent message and I'm going to just paste it in here. And I have a graphic of Canvas and where the announcements are, all that stuff. And a nice little message. I'm going to change the name here just to name and then save it. And it's all ready to go. It's been proofread. I'm set to use that announce that this signature now. Now, one thing to be aware of, this is where you set default signatures. When you create a new one, many times they'll put it as the default signature for new messages. So just click this drop down list, scroll up to the top and just say none if, if that's what you want. So that's where you would set default signatures. So that's it. It's all saved. It's all ready to go. I click OK. If I go to my signatures there, that announcements one's all ready to go and dump in there. So the more you use signatures, the more you'll find uses for it. So here's a little bonus also. If you're using, if you have multiple computers like most of us do and you have Outlook set up on multiple computers, it'd be nice if the signatures would transfer from one to the other. Signatures are one of the few things that are stored locally on your machine right now. Microsoft's supposed to be working on that and start to start, start to store those in the cloud. But as of this point, they haven't yet. And so let me show you a little hack on how to get around that. So what you can do is on one of your machines where you have all your signatures the way you want them, click on the file tab, go to options and click on mail. Now signatures button over here, hold down the control key, click on signatures and up will come the folder where all those signatures reside. So these are all my signatures. So I'm just going to do control A to select everything, copy it. And then what I can do is I can go store it on a OneDrive folder, put it in a cloud folder, just call it Outlook signatures or whatever, 
paste it in there, and then go to another another laptop, desktop, whatever, and do the same process. So just go back, go back here, control, click on signatures, and delete the existing signatures and paste in the new ones. So really nice, easy hack to get you having, so where you have the same signatures on both or multiple computers. So, hey, I hope this information was helpful and I hope it saves you a lot of time like it does me, like it does, like it saves me. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching Randy's office and uh, share this with others. Have a great day.